too. It's your boy, Sensitive B, baby. Uh, I'm drinking while I'm talking because my throat is still kind of tricky, tricky. You know what I'm saying? But uh, what we're going to talk about today is parents, should they whip their kids' ass? Uh, this is really a video response to G4 Leader 46. If you don't know who he is, I have a uh, link in the description to his channel. You can check out his video or uh, his other videos. But I thought it was a good topic, and I wanted to, uh, you know, share my thoughts about that, too. I think parents need to whoop their kids' ass, um, and it needs to be done soon, because <laughs> um, it's a lot of things going on right now that just ain't right, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, and I think the issue is that we need to separate um, the, the difference in whooping your kid's ass, because when your person say, you know what, I whooped my kid's ass last night, some people start freaking out. So, oh, no, you can't be doing that. You can't be whooping your kid's ass. You can't be beating your kids. Uh, give them timeouts. But I think we need to separate what that merely means. You know, if a kid is uh, being suspended from school, you have to leave work to go get this child because he's in school acting a fool instead of learning, you whip his ass, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Your child get uh, caught shoplifting, um, and, you know, you whip his ass. You whip their ass. They have no, hey, this is wrong. You should not be shoplifting. This is not right. You whip that ass and teach them that, you know. If you go to work, you have a bad day at work, and you get home, and the only thing in front of you is your child, and you start beating your child's ass to relieve your frustration, that's abuse. That's the difference. That's a no-no. Um, you don't abuse your kid and beat your kid just to relieve your frustration or you mad at the world. That's where the issue comes in, and that's where it needs to be separated at. Between whooping the ass for disciplinary reason or abusing the ass for your own pleasure or frustration. But you have to whoop your kids' ass for discipline reasons. You have to establish dominance as a parent over that child to tell them this is right, this is wrong. And and giving them timeouts just doesn't cut it. Giving them timeouts just means you're telling them for a certain amount of time to go have a seat in the corner or have you do your timeout. And then after that time is up and expire, you can go back to doing what you were doing before. That's pretty much what that says. It doesn't have a long life affecting uh, on that. But ass whooping, that lasts a lifetime. You're going to always remember that ass of me you, you got because uh, I'm going to tell you a story. When I was little in elementary school, we lived in an apartment complex. Uh, and one day they were fixing the roofing on the apartment complex. So they tore down all the little tiles from the roofing and had them down on a pile. So what me and my friends would do, we'd go get these pieces of tile and break them up into pieces to where we can chuck them at each other. And they had a nice little spin to it. It was really hard. And we used to have, uh, we used to play war games with that and throw them at each other. Don't ask why. But anyway, I threw one and miss hit my neighbor's window, broke the front living room window up. And like any little kids, group of kids at that age, when something like that happens, and one of your crew do something bad, everybody scatter like roaches, and you run into the house. It's a safe spot. So that's what we did. We just running and ran to my house. And my mom like, okay, nobody saw it but my friends. They ain't going to sell me out if I'm straight. So I'm sitting there. I'm still thinking about what's going on, hoping nobody comes to the house and say anything to my mom. So 30 minutes pass by, no one shows up. I'm thinking, whoo. I'm free and clear. I got away with this. So now it's time for me to go take a bath and get ready for bed because I got to go to school the next day. So I get in the tub, get my tub going, get my rubber dubbed up on, uh -uh, and all of a sudden my mom busts down the door. Boom! Mr. So-and-so told me, you threw this in, blah, 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 you broke this window and I got paid for it. Why you tell me that? What happened? And before I got to say, Mama, it was an accident. Oh, man. I, of course, it was an accident, but I didn't get it all the way out. Before I even said that, she was already coming with the belt about a 1,000 miles an hour. And I couldn't even stop him. He was on his way. And here I am in a tub, soaked in wet, lather up, and this leather belt is on its way. And it hits me, and it sticks to my skin. And it's like every word was a swing. The next time you be out there throwing this blah, blah, blah. And she wore my ass out. And no matter what I tried to do, get out of that tub, I couldn't because it was slippery. I kept sliding. I couldn't grab the belt. The belt was wet. It was a horrible experience. So, uh, but I deserved it. And until this day, 2012, when I go and take a shower, I like the door every time. Not because I'm afraid that someone's going to walk in and see me naked. It's because I'm thinking my mom can kick down this door anytime and whip my ass again for something I may have done bad a couple of days ago. You know what I'm saying? And it was, what makes it even worse, she's in Texas. I live in Washington State. And I still think at any time she just poop, pop up here, kick down the door, and whip my ass again. Why? 
that ass will been last a lifetime. So you have to do that. You have to put that kid's ass, tell them what's right and wrong. Whoop that ass, explain to them what they did wrong, what the right thing to do, tell them you love them, and that's how you discipline. And that's what you have to do. No timeouts, you know what I'm saying? You can't be afraid of your kids. Um, <coughs> You go in their rooms, you search the rooms, you do everything you can to make sure they're not doing the, the wrong thing. And trust me, by you opening that ass, it'll discipline them kids, make them better people, better citizens, keep them out of trouble, and they will love you at the end and thank you at the end uh, for doing that to them and keep them in a straight line. So again, should parents whip their kids' ass? Hell yeah. Whip them to the white meat shows. Something like that. Right, Bernie? All right, y'all. This is Sensitive B, baby. Oh, my throat is killing me. Be back soon with more videos, y'all. I'm out. Two more.